What's up, guys? And today we're talking FL Studio 12 versus 20, or really should I upgrade? But first, what's FL Studio? For those of you who don't know, it's a digital audio workstation that's powerful, easy to use, and a good choice for those of you who are just getting started in the world of audio production. Now, it used to be called Fruity Loops back in the day, but after some significant upgrades, the company rebranded itself as FL Studio. Now, what are the pros? What, make, what makes this a good choice? Well, first of all, it's got a fast 64-bit mixing and recording engine. The user interface is intuitive and easy to use. And the free version of the software is plenty for those who are just getting started or new to the industry. There's also, this is my favorite. It's uh, the high quality collaboration tools for seamlessly working on projects with other producers or other musicians. What are some of the cons? Well, new users may experience a steep learning curve, but that's true learning any DAW, all right? And it also could be very expensive if you need to upgrade to the paid version. All right, so what's the difference between Studio 12 and 20? All right, this is where the confusion starts and the reason for this video. And many of you may be confused because FL Studio jumped from version 12 to 20 a few years ago, and they did this to commemorate their 20th anniversary. So versions 13 through 19 don't exist. But what this does is it means the upgrades are not as vast and varied as you might expect. The upgrade is actually easy. The main differences between 12 and 20 are, here's the big one, it's native to Mac now. It wasn't before, all the earlier versions weren't. You can now record, you can set up your project using multiple time signatures. You can also convert MIDI to audio. And you have unlimited playlist arrangements. There's also this thing called PDC, plug-in delay compensation, which is like a latency when you turn on the plug-in. And it's better they improve that in, this, in, in 20. And the step sequence of graph editor is back. Many people were missing that. And you're, lastly, you've got this in-situation rendering, which is like a freezing thing. Now, my experience, and this I liked, was that when you, up, when you upgraded it, it was easy. The workflow is similar. You know, the, they're, they're, there's not going to be much of a learning curve. It's going it's to feel very, very comfortable. Plugins are much better. They're easier. They're faster. And the workflow efficiency has, has been optimized so you can work fast and still get the best output possible. Now, what I don't like, the older synths are no longer supported. Old tracks that are more than five years, years old, they're probably not going to work. You know, and, the, and there's also songs using certain synths like Wasp, Sim Synth, the Wasp XT, or TS-404. They, 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 they don't work. They don't work either. But should you upgrade? Absolutely. It's been out. The upgrade has been out for a few years now. So all the bugs have been, the major bugs have been fixed. All right. So I would upgrade.